move then to Richard Strauss's Morgen, which means morning in German. It's from a collection of four songs that Strauss wrote in 1894, presenting them to his wife on their wedding day. How romantic. It's filled with heartfelt yearning. In this rapturous love song, the voice waits a considerable amount of time before entering in almost an absent-minded fashion on the word and, as if it's caught in dreamy mid-thought. It's the inner elation of a lover staring in wonder at the face of the beloved. Filled with the imagery of nature, here's the text. And tomorrow the sun will shine again, and on the way which I shall follow, she will again unite us lucky ones all around us. The earth breathes in the sun. Slowly, silently, we will climb down to the wide beach and the blue waves in silence. We will look into each other's eyes and the mute stillness of happiness will sink upon us. Gorgeous. We finish the vocal section with Auf dem Strom by Schubert. It's a duet, really. It's for, um, originally for horn. In this version, it's played by cello, which is uh, in the same timbre. And uh, Sayun Thorstein's Dottir is joining our soloist, Nicholas Vaughn, uh, and Donnelly, pianist, in this wonderful, wonderful piece by Schubert, one of his last. It's really a farewell. It's an elegiac, lofty masterpiece of a song. Um, Auf dem Strom has often been interpreted as Schubert's last farewell and a call across the waters to Beethoven, his idol, the composer, oddly enough, that he had just recently served as pallbearer for in Beethoven's funeral. But the emotion of the piece is more raw and vulnerable than it probably would have been if Beethoven had written this in a way that only Schubert could write. And the cello, it depicts the inner life of emotion. The song has many verses, all continuing one stanza after another, and it tells the story of loss and grief. But notice at the end of the piece, in the final stanzas, that we go from the minor key, which sounds as if the sun's behind a cloud somehow, to a major key. Ah, the light starts to break through, thus giving us a sense of hope and resolution. Here are the last two stanzas. If my wistful roaming eyes can no longer decry the shore. I shall look up to the stars there in the sacred distance. Ah, by their gentle radiance I first called her name. There, perhaps, O oh, consoling fate, there I shall meet her gaze.